Hey everybody, it's Chad with round two. So we're back with another video for January 2019. So we're kicking off with a lot of good stuff this year. We've got nine model kits to show you guys. Uh, we got four dioramas for Johnny Lightning, a new Johnny Lightning Classic Gold release, uh, two new two packs as well. And then we also have three uh, 118 scale cars for Auto World. So we'll get going, we'll jump right in. We're gonna start with Johnny Lightning 164th. All right, so first off for uh, Johnny Lightning, we've got our new release of Classic Gold. So that's a six car set uh, with two colors, versions A and B, so 12 cars total. Uh, starting off in the set with the first car, this is the 1973 Ford Mustang Mach 1. You can see the version A here in that great looking bright red color, the black on the hood, and the second version is in black with gray on the hood and that gray spoiler with it as well. And then second in the release here, it's the 1956 uh, Chevy Bel Air convertible. So first version here, it's in this pine crest green color. The white accents and the matching uh, green and white interior. And the second version is in a uh, dawn gray. Also with the uh, matching white interior. Third in that release, um, this is Next up for our 2004 uh, Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution. So the first variation here is black with that great looking carbon fiber hood and those bronze wheels. And the second version here is silver with a uh, carbon fiber hood as well. And then it's got the, uh, the custom gunmetal wheels on it and the uh, white letter Bridgestone Potenza tires. It's look really great on there. And then fourth in the release for the car, uh, this is the 1967 Plymouth Barracuda. First uh, variation, version A, is in light blue here. And the second version is this uh, great looking dark green color. And it's got that uh, camel or peanut butter colored interior there with that white stripe down the middle of it. Fifth in the release, the 1968 Pontiac Firebird convertible. This first version is in uh, this great looking metallic green color, with that black interior. The second version is Crystal Turquoise Poly with white interior. And lastly, in the Classic Gold release, another really cool import car. This is the 2004 Nissan 350Z. So the first version here is in white. It's got that peanut butter colored interior, a little hard to see on the camera, and the, uh, the black wheels. And the second variation is in red, the silver wheels, and a black interior on that one. So that's everything for Classic Gold. We also have four new releases here for our diorama series. So first off, we've got some uh, barn finds. These are the Barn Find Lost Legends series, and they come with this uh, resin barn in the background as a display piece. Really cool painted details there. And that first version is a 1968 Ford Mustang GT Fastback. You can see all that barn find look, got all the rust on it, the uh, dust oversprayed on the wheels this looks like it's been sitting and just pulled out of a barn and then second in that is the 1969 Dodge Charger here a dusty orange color just look that aging on it just looks super cool all that weathering look and then third in the barn finds here this is the 1970 Chevy Chevelle SS so another great looking version with all that dust on it and rust and everything, all mismatched parts and super cool looking. And then last in our diorama series, this one's a little bit different. This is part of our uh, Cars and Coffee series. So there is the uh, resin display for the Roastem Cafe in the background. And this is the 2005 Ford GT in red. So you'll see a lot of those uh, Ford GTs coming out to those Cars and Coffee events. And we just think it's a really cool release. We really like this whole Cars and Coffee series as well. And then uh, lastly for Johnny Lightning 164th, we also have two new two packs coming. So first, this is a really exciting one. This is Import Heat Rally. So this is something new that we're doing. Um, this two pack includes our 2000 Honda Civic hatchback, that EK hatchback there with the great looking rally graphics numbers. It's got the uh, you know, driver's name on the side and the second version, 2004 Mitsubishi Lancer Evo, just a really famous rally car. Uh, it's got the rally art graphics on it as well. And it's just super, super cool looking. I think it'll be a really popular one. And then second, we do have another two-pack, off-road two-pack 
uh, that's coming out in this release. This is the 1950 Chevy Suburban. It's got all that mud thrown up on it, off-road tires. And the second uh, car is this red Jeep CJ5. It's also got the mud on it. And then also, last for 64th, we do have one thing this month for, uh, for Auto World 64th. Um, this is next in our series of the gallery showcases. So these are for your uh, six packs if you want to open them and showcase them. But we do include exclusive cars in these. And this is an exclusive 1967 Ford Mustang GT. So uh, that coloring is not available as a separate Auto World car. The only way to get it is uh, included in this six pack display piece. So that's everything for 164th. Next, we'll jump in and show you guys Auto World 118. All right, so first off in Auto World 118, this is a really cool release. This is our 1958 Chevy Bel Air Impala. So a super cool looking car in this great um, goldish color with the uh, tan interior and that ivory looking white top. And it's just super cool looking, really, really 50s, and big white wall tires and uh, this is limited edition, one of a thousand and two, like many of our 118 scales. The doors open, the hood opens, the trunk opens, uh, and it does have detailed engine. The front wheels are steerable, and uh, precise accuracy on bottom and top and inside everywhere. So that's first for that. Next, this is one we haven't put out in a while. This is the 1970 Chevy El Camino, and we're actually doing this one as part of the uh, 100 years of Chevy trucks. So what's cool about this, it is that just great looking purple color purple maroon color um, it's got the Goodyear white letter tires on it also limited edition one of a thousand and two with the steerable front wheels uh, and opening doors and hood as well so that should be a super popular one like I said it's been a while since we put out an El Camino so we're really excited about that and then lastly this is next in our line of George Barris uh, vehicles so this is the Barris car here so we've done this one this is uh, also 118 scale really heavy uh, die cast metal it's a pretty substantial uh, to hold it um, it's got that deep deep black paint just like the car from the movie uh, all the custom front end this one hasn't been um, brought out in a really long time either so something we've been working on for uh, our Barris lines so we've been putting out a lot of really cool Barris stuff and there's some nice information and everything on the back pictures of uh, Barris's old shop and just a lot of cool things so that's everything we've got for 118 next we'll jump in and show you guys model kits all right so for model kits we've got uh new kits from amt we got new mpc kits and some polar light stuff as well so we'll start off and show you guys the amt kits the first kit we got here this one's really exciting it's the 34 ford pickup customizing kit so what's cool about this this is a three-in-one kit you can build it as a stock truck you can build it as a custom truck or as a uh, service vehicle as well so we have uh, actually retooled a lot of the accessories that come with this kit, included pad printed vinyl tires, uh, redid the decal artwork, and you can see some of the really cool parts and accessories available here, the custom grill, spotlights, chrome exhaust, two different variations of seats, just lots of super cool stuff. And uh, here's the variation so you can see the service truck version of it. And for those of you guys that want to see the parts tree in the back, lots of different optional parts you can do and then when you build the kit there's a lot of extra pieces if you want to uh use them to kit bash something else definitely can do that too so next for amt this is also a three-in-one kit this is the 59 uh, chrysler imperial so some of the cool stuff that comes with this white wall tires expanded decal sheets uh we included a convertible boot as well and there's some uh, options like the continental tires grill bar hood scoop and you can see kind of some of the variations here of that three-in-one uh, as a hard top, a racing car, a wild custom, and uh, there's kind of some lists of some of the other parts here. Landau roof, uh, all the different scoops, fender skirts, just a lot of really cool stuff. And a look at the parts tree for that kit as well. And then next up, continuing with AMT cars, this is the 1969 uh, Chevelle 125th scale. This is the uh, Ratman kit. So what's cool about this, there's actually a lot of uh, cool options for this kit as well. This is also a one of three, uh, street drag or custom. So we've included pad printed uh, Firestone Drag 500 slicks in there. Um, there's parts for, you can kind of see the custom rear end um, if you want to do the modified version. And then some of the other things, drag bucket seats, expanded decal sheets, two different styles of wheels, just a lot of really cool stuff on that. And a look at the parts tree 
for that kit as well. And then next up in AMT, this is the 1969 Plymouth GTX convertible cabriolet. So um, lots of cool stuff with this kit. Uh, it also has a lot of variation to it. It's uh, built one of two ways. So you can see the, uh, here's a stock like convertible version here. Um, comes with pad printed red line tires and some other pretty cool options as well. A uh, couple different wheel options, some uh, air cleaners and different things you can do for the engine. And I'll look at the parts tree on that one also. And next up in AMT, we've got this smaller, the 132nd scale 1960 Thunderbird hardtop. So what's cool about this, uh, the decals are included in the kit. It's got all original parts. We stuck with the vintage style packaging and it being that smaller uh, 132nd scale kit, it does come with a one piece body shell. So you can build it as a model kit or for slot car guys, it uh, provides a great body for a slot car conversion. So it's super easy kit to put together. There's a look at the uh, pretty simple parts tree on that one as well. Quick and easy build and super cool. These, these scale star kits are really fun. So um, next we'll jump in and show you guys cars for Polar Lights, so this is the next release of our uh, Volkswagen Beetle Snap Kit. So this is the Coca-Cola version. So what's cool about this, there's actually a lot of options that come with this kit as well. Uh, you can get a look there at kind of the Coca-Cola decals that we've done with the kit. Um, it's got vinyl tires, chrome parts, the ra optional rag top. There's two different bu bumper styles, different front seats, uh, different side mirrors, and there's actually uh, four different variations for doing wheel and hubcap options. And then a look at the, uh, at the parts tree on the back of that kit as well. And next we'll jump in. We're continuing with cars. We're going to jump in and show you guys MPC. So we've got the Tom McEwen 1969 front engine dragster. So what's cool about this kit, um, it does have a new scoop and injector for it. Um, an optional new airfoil. Uh, colorful new decals that come with it as well. It's got some information here on the Tom Mongoose slingshot rail and some really cool artwork and everything from that. And then you can kind of get a look at uh, some of the exciting features on the kit, windscreen, roll bar, the body, and of course that giant 426 dragster motor. And a look at the parts tree on that kit as well. And lastly for MPC, this is our super trailer kit. So what's cool about this, it's a combination of a trailer and a display case. It comes with the clear, uh, clear tailor, uh, trailer top, so you can put your 125th scale vehicle in there. Uh, we did an all new decal sheet for this. Comes with pre-decorated tires. Um, the frame is molded in color to make it a pretty quick and easy build. And of course these uh, transparent body panels that come with it as well. Um, it also has a toolbox that's included. And it's just a really super cool kit if you want to display, find a cool way to do, uh, display one of your builds. And a look at the parts tree on that one also. And lastly, we're going to finish up back to AMT, but with a uh, sci-fi kit. This is the Star Trek Romulan Warbird. So what's cool about this, this is the one uh, 3200 scale plastic model kit. So like many of our Star Trek kits, it does come with some pretty cool features. Um, a dome base with the metal support rod. It's um, got precision fit and detail in it. Fairly easy to go together. The uh, Romulan crest and window uh, decals, and as you can see, it's about... 12 and a three quarter inches long just under 13 inches long so should be another good uh, addition to some of our star trek kits and then lastly we also have some deluxe decal packs coming out so this is one uh variation we've got that is uh new york city auxiliary services logo so this has new york fire department uh new york police department um some city cab decals and things like that for any work trucks you're building any SWAT vans, police cars, whatever, fire trucks, it's all it's all uh, cool stuff to add to that. We have more deluxe decal packs that will be coming out in the next few months as well. So that's everything we got for January. We're kicking off 2019 pretty big with a lot of stuff, So and there's a lot more coming. Thank you guys again for watching these videos. As always, you can go onto our Facebook pages for any of our model kit brands, um, diecast brands, any of that, or go to round2corp.com to see what else we got that's new. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you in February.